Well, welcome to another Memphis drawing. Today we're continuing on our 200 drawing prompt book. Today we're up to uh, number 143, Celtic Design. And we didn't want to make it too easy, so we uh, did a a little uh, portrait of uh, Mike Tyson with his Celtic design he has on the side of his head. If you want to see how we did it, stay tuned because that's what we're going to do today. <coughs> well, like I say, today's uh, prompt is Celtic design and we've got our target in place. If I can keep keep the page here. Um, what they want me to draw and what we're going to draw might diverge a little bit. I think what they want is something like this. These are uh, Celtic designs. They're kind of famous for the twisting rope, the Celtic cross, um, and that kind of thing. But what we're going to go for is this design right here. And that can be found in that face tattoo on Mike Tyson. So today we're going to do a little uh, portrait from a photograph of Mike Tyson and his face tattoo. So let's get started and knock off the chit chat. Now this was back when uh, people actually knew who the heavyweight champion of the world was. Of course, Mike Tyson, uh, he was so good, and unless you're, you, you, you know, I, I feel uh I feel old sometimes because, uh, you know, Mike Tyson became champion around 37, 37 years ago or so, or 35 years ago, and it, and uh, you know he was he was the young guy. He he was uh, he was so good that when he was in like 17. They weren't, uh, it wasn't like, well, when he, if he becomes champion, it was always, uh, it, it was always a case of, uh, you know, when he becomes champion. You know, he was that good. He, he was just, uh, startlingly good. It wasn't, it wasn't a very tall guy, which his detractors, his early detractors pointed out that he was, uh, you know, he was only about 5'10 or 5'11, which is pretty, pretty small.
I used to follow boxing back in the day. But I'll ask you a question you can answer in the comments. Does anybody know who the heavyweight champion of the world is right now? I didn't think so. I think that's practically the uh, that's practically the mark of a a great fighter. If anybody even knows who you are. It's kind of sad in a way though. These guys train kind of their life's work. Nobody knows who they are. They, th they think they're going to be famous, but then it doesn't happen. What I got to do here is, you know, in a portrait to get a likeness, you See, I, I could uh, I could cheat here and and put his put his mouth open his mouth up and show his teeth and put a gap between his teeth and then that would uh, you know that would go to identify him but I'm uh, I'm dressing him up here a little bit. I think to look sinister, he, uh, to look sinister, he, he had, uh, when he was younger, he had uh, gold teeth. A couple of gold teeth in the front. I think this is, uh, an Irish Celtic symbol. The Celts, uh, Kind of a group of people that from Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Sometimes get them mixed up with the Vikings. Now they had some Norths, Norths, uh, in their gene pool, but they were made up of uh, the Northmen, Indo-Europeans. And then whatever went for uh, the natives of the uh, English or the, you know, the, the islands of Great Britain. But I should know more about the history of Britain, shouldn't I? Shouldn't we all? If you're American, you you know you you pretty much. If you know any history at all, you know the history of uh, the United States. 
Not that anybody knows any history anymore. But we completely forget about world history. I was looking on the internet when I decided to do this. You know, type in uh, Mike Tyson's face tattoo. Come find out. It's, it's really become kind of a famous, a famous and copied tattoo. Other people. Uh, Other people are actually getting it. Have actually gotten this, this tattoo. I don't know why I'm worried about getting it so right here because nobody really knows what it looks like. I just thought of something. Can you imagine uh, the guy who put, who originally put this tattoo on Mike Tyson's face? That would take the cur some courage right there, wouldn't it? I'd be afraid when Mike, when Mike wouldn't like his tattoo. These fighters are... Uh, they go through they go through some problems with uh, yeah, I mean if they're famous and then they uh, everybody thinks they can beat them up and they're always picking fights it's the reason you always see uh, you always see the famous Famous fighters, they always got bodyguards because there's always some nutter, nutter, nutter that wants to pick a fight with them. And I'll tell you, in, in his prime, he's an old guy now, but in his prime, uh, you didn't want to... Uh, You didn't want to pick a fight with Mike Tyson. I mean, he he would. I mean, he would fight. I mean, heavyweights that were. You know, or used to getting hit. He'd knock them out in the first round. Thunderous, thunderous, and. It'd kill a normal person.
We don't, uh, I think sometimes we forget just how good these, how good professional athletes are. I was, I was watching, uh, I used to jog a little bit, and so I kind of watched the marathon every now and then. And, you know, they're running the marathon now at four, around 435 per mile. Well, that's about a 68 second quarter, 68 seconds for one lap around the track. If you're a, if you're a jogger, Go out and try to run a lap in 68 seconds. And if by some miracle you can actually do it, then think about, think about uh, running at speed for 26 miles. See, that's a... See, that's uh, kind of easy to understand right there. But just remember, these fighters are just as good in their sports. And they would... just absolutely destroy a normal person. Okay, we might screw it up, but we're just gonna, we're not gonna, we're just gonna go right straight to pencil on this. In terms of lightness, what you got to do is look for those little things like, see how that eyebrow or that side of his his right orbit orbital opening there for his eye, and then his cheek comes down and makes this this little angular cut. Now, since he's a he's a black guy, I've got to I've got to increase the skin tone a little bit, but not as much as you think. You know, we uh, we call white people white, and African African Americans we call black or whatever we're calling them now. But if you're if you think you're black, put your skin up next to uh, to something that's really black. You're gonna be surprised. You're not black after all. And if you think you're white, put your skin up next to something that's white. And you'll discover you're not white either. I think we will uh, outline his tie and his face tattoo in ink. Outline it in black.
I didn't like it that he uh, he got out of the draft. But the world isn't perfect. And I lived through those times. And I know that a lot of people got out of the draft. Just depend on what your situation was. I thought it was kind of ironic, you know, people give oh, Ali a hard time for getting out of the draft. Um, you know, to you kind of point out all the rich kids that didn't go, have to go either. Didn't affect me because I joined. Okay, let's keep working. What I'm doing here is kind of filling it in with this light brown. This will serve as highlights. I put the put some more shading in. You know, from fighting, his eyes have been injured, and this top fold here uh, kind of folds down over his eye. Get some depth to his face here to make his head look round. I've got to uh, kind of go around the outside with some dark color. And then I'll kind of smooth it together. It'll make his head look a little bit rounder. Okay, I'm, uh, let's fill in his face tattoo. I don't think it's this stark uh, in, in real life. But we're going to apply some artistic license to our project here. Since the goal of our project was a Celtic design, We're going to emphasize the Celtic design. I think the big thing now, I know tattoos are big, I, I never, never got into it, but I think one of the big things now is, is non-permanent tattoos. You can sort of buy a sticker and if you want to make a fashion statement you can just put your 
tattoo on. It lasts for a couple of days. And then next time, you just put another tattoo on. I never, uh, I never had the, never had the urge to get a tattoo myself, but I know they're kind of popular. And they have been throughout history. I mean, they, they find, you know, ancient, you know, ancient Stone Age people with tattoos. I never, uh, I never understood it, but I'm not that smart. Okay, we're gonna do his tie here. And we're gonna leave his white shirt white. May add a little gray. Okay, there's our uh, Celtic design. Um, prompt and we did a little portrait uh, from a photo of Mike Tyson got his Celtic face tattoo and let's see what our prompt is for tomorrow It is Boomerang. So I hope to see you tomorrow.